Okay, earlier we talked about my friend Mike Dandridge, my partner Mike Dandridge, my one of the most amazing men I've ever known. Mike, um, Mike took over XL Electric at a time when uh, uh, Home Depot and Lowe's were coming in as their main competitors. And Mike said, I can't cut price. This is a cutthroat price low business anyway. We're as low as we can go. I've got to build the top, not the top line. And so Mike did a few things that people thought were nuts. He got a Mr. Potato Head and he put it on the counter for the electricians to play with. And when they liked that, remember the cootie things from back in the yeah, 50s? Yeah. He got a cootie game. He got an Etch-a-Sketch. He got all of the things that were popular when these electricians were kids and let them play with them for the first time in three or four decades. As their orders were getting filled, they were playing with Etch-a-Sketch. He put in a convection oven and baked cookies. Can you all smell the chocolate chips? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, I'm wondering what was baked. Yeah, he did this throughout the day. Okay, you walk into Rexel and you smell chocolate chip cookies baking. And they were fresh several times a day. He grabbed, uh, I don't know if it was a Senseo or, or one of the others, but he, he grabbed one of those pod coffee makers and loaded up every kind of, of um, coffee imaginable. And so here's, uh, here's a grizzled old electrician just came in off the job site, got a filthy t-shirt, his tool belt hanging low, and he's saying, uh, Mike, you're out of the uh, Sumatran, uh, uh, well, I need some better examples, I can't think of this. But, but, uh, but he turned this place into a destination. And, and an amazing thing happened. Most electricians know the time is money, they go to the closest supply house. They have to leave the job site to get something, and time is money, and if they're over there shopping for parts, they're not earning any money. But they started skipping Lowe's, skipping Home Depot, and going to Rexel because it's a fun place to shop. And if i got to wait for somebody to fill my order, I'll have some coffee and a cookie and play with Mr. Potato Head. They put Christmas tree lights around the desk and around the ceiling and had them blinking year-round. They they um, killed the music on hold and replaced it with comedians on hold. <laughs> they took some of the advertising dollars, hired a landscaper, and put plantscapes throughout the place. Inside, potted plants everywhere. He said the one mistake they made was really making the bathrooms nice. Because <laughs> the guys would come out and say, I'm kind of afraid to use this. I'm filthy. And I don't want to leave little you know, soil drops of, of, of uh, rinse water everywhere, and I really don't want to touch the towels. So he said they had to back off a bit because that was making people un uncomfortable. In 18 months, they went from $300,000 a year gross to 14 million up against two of the biggest big box retailers in the country. If I if I haven't beaten it to death already, let me beat it to death now. Please stop cutting price to get people into your businesses. It's suicide, and you don't have to. If a guy can make that kind of an improvement in electrical wholesale supplies by changing the experience for the electricians, surely you can do something equally impressive in your business. Purchase intent formula. Move over F, you will never forget it. You might have to grab a pencil and try to remember what each of those stood for, but you won't forget the formula. Questions quickly because I'm already running over time.